YouTube. I uh, just wanted to take a second to talk to you guys about uh, some of the presets and the patches that I've been using with my handy dandy Boss Katana amp. It's a really good amp, solid amp. This is not a Boss Katana amp review style video. I'm not gonna, you know, there's a lot of videos out there. There's an, an overabundance probably of reviews and whatever. Uh, so I didn't really want to add to that. I just thought I would kind of go through and demonstrate um, some of the patches that I've been enjoying. Um, my eight presets um, that I have on my foot switch. And yeah, so I just uh, hope you enjoy it. And if not, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not a pro YouTuber. So by all means, don't subscribe. You, you probably shouldn't. But anyway, all right. So, okay, and I'm doing this with my cell phone because my other camera does not... It has a plethora of issues <laughs> that I don't have to go into here, but love the sound. Love the sound. It's great for recording music stuff, but uh, not a lot of uh, features that would come in handy for something like this. So I'm using my cell phone. Nobody really cares. It's probably fine just as it is. You just see my shaky hand, which... Sorry for that. Uh, so these are my settings here. Um, you can see here what I like. I've gone. I've actually pre-played samples of all of these um, to kind of give you an example of how they sound, why I like them, etc. But I just thought I would take a second and do a little thing where I show you the the settings. Maybe put something on the screen here that tells you where I got them. Um, if you like them and if you want to try to use them for yourself, you can actually kind of see like we're looking here This is dirty Be the first sample that I play those are just the basic uh, panel settings that you'll see for dirty um, One thing one little trick and tip that has been very very helpful for me Is this little I'm doing this looking through my phone. So this is a little tricky this is uh, this EQ if you haven't seen this tip, this is extremely helpful if you have the foot switch for the Boss Katana. Um, because you'll notice when you download patches, there's like a big volume discrepancy usually in your in your patches. So every time you flip the button, you know, something's going to be like deafeningly loud and then you'll have something that's just kind of whisper, whisper quiet. Um, you can control that. All you got to do is just come over here to Parametric EQ, look at your level. And just adjust that to a comparable level for each pad. This basically just serves as a overall master. It doesn't affect your tone. It doesn't affect the, the effects. It doesn't affect the, the patches in any way other than just as another volume switch. And you know, God knows this thing has so many volume switches. But this is yet another way to tweak and control. So like, it'd be really great for a gigging kind of situation because then you could kind of have all of that regulated and then just use your expression pedal or your volume knob kind of like an overall volume anyway that really helped me a lot moving right along this is dirty this is the dirty setting <laughs> one is Nuno V2 based on the popular guitarist Nuno is it Betancourt I guess that's how you say it um, Nuno V2 it's it's got some good uh, chunk to it you can kind of see the settings here and I'm gonna try to link all these patches <laughs> 
This is the Tool Fear. This is a free patch from uh, Juca. Juca Neri. Is it Juca Neri? I should really come prepared with my pronunciations on all this stuff. Anyway, one of the big popular uh, boss patch people. You can just kind of look all over YouTube and, and find just tons of really cool stuff that he does. I put a, a pedal effect on it that takes the pitch down so I can do a lot of funky, heavy stuff with it. And I also put a harmonist plus 12 right now, but I think I settled on the plus five, the fifths. The fifths seem to play, and it seemed to like identify the notes of fifths for some reason a lot better than some of the other ones. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's just easier for the software to find it. I don't know. I wasn't having as much like It's weird too, because I used this the other day on that plus 12, and it sounded really cool, but I went to use it today, and it, it's different. And you will find that with this software. I have had situations where everything, little things are changed. But one time I came to my panel and was just, wasn't plugged into the Tone Studio or anything like that. And everything was like totally off. My delays had become something totally different than they used to be. My effects were different. So you gotta kinda be mindful. If that ever happens to you, which I don't know if I'm the only one that's had that problem, I'm assuming I'm not. If that ever happens to you, you can be on panel and come up here to the top right hand corner and just push clear. That's all you gotta do. It'll take you back to all of your panel default settings and it doesn't change any of your presets. All it changes is the panel back to default. So if you ever run into that issue, don't freak out. Just push clear.
so the next one I had on here was Sweet Blues. Really enjoy that one. Um, really good for my classic vibe. 70s Fender that I've been using. I feel like it kind of is a really good all-purpose Strat Blues Strat tone. If you have a Strat you might look into Sweet Blues. I'm not going to do Lil Wayne. Stay away. here is Edge. I like it uh, for a number of reasons, not having to do with U2, nothing against U2, but you can just get a lot of fun uh, sound out of it. Good, It's a very good delay at a good tempo. Edge, anyway. Um. <laughs> this effect, the most recent Here we go. This is the Katana uh, MK2. These are both my wah 
these are my original settings, so there's not going to be a link for these. But if you like what you hear, you can look at this and kind of check it out. Anyway, this is the pedal effects. I've got the uh, the Vo, which is the Vox Wah pedal Wah on that, and it's clean. Well, it's crunch actually. Volume maxed. I've heard that's a uh, that should be your default. Some people say master should be maxed and volume and gain should be uh, tweaked. I don't know what the actual verdict on that is, but the consensus I've gathered is that you want to start with a volume at 100 and you want your master to be your volume control in addition to your EQ. That's what I do. I don't know. I might not be doing it right. Uh, I got a clean boost on it. Let's see, I have an octave effect, but it's not on right now. It's assignable through the buttons on the switch, foot switch. Got the phaser. That's what my settings are for the phaser. If you like them, you can just pause this and check it out. I got a little bit of a pan delay going on. Very light. It's only at 11. Turn it to 11. <clears throat> so I think that's basically at the, it's a hall reverb. Very light. I'm not big. I don't like to saturate with reverb on these because I feel like uh, I lose something in the brightness when I go too far with reverb. So I do very subtle reverb, very subtle delay. That's kind of where I'm at. And my presence I keep fairly low. I keep my treble dialed back. I mean, here it's only 27. I got my bass way up. Probably could stand to come down just a smidge. At any rate... That's what I got. did do a little bit of a high cut it looks like on this this is my pedal it's the box wah once again 
These are my settings. I got my bass back dialed back just a hair from where it was before. Oh, and my volume is actually uh, not at 100 on this one. Got the phaser. Those are my phaser settings. I probably will dial this in a little tighter and, and upload it at some point to the guitar patches. I just, I don't even know how to do that yet. I don't know how to export the TS, TSL, TSI files. Is that what they are? I don't know how to export those yet up to the site and all that good jazz. Also have this band of gypsies, a uh, fun little patch that's on, it's, I think it's under something called machine gun on guitarpatches.com. So there you have it. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. Well, thank you for tuning in and checking out uh, this episode of... Uh, I don't have a name for this, what this segment will be. I do have, uh, you know, since we're kind of all trapped with the coronavirus, I do have a, uh, a vision for kind of doing some more videos like this, showing you the gear that I'm using. And um, not that there's people are clamoring for that, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun to go through my little music jam space here and show people what I'm doing. I, I use a lot of loopers and uh, a couple different pedals and things like that. So I just thought I'd kind of give people an overview of what I'm, what I'm doing. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon. Not that I see you now. I don't see anybody other than myself if I look over here. Anyway, all right.